What's up, guys? Sean here with a 2000. Oh man, what year is this? A 2006. With a 2006 Suzuki Boulevard C90. C90. That is a 90 cubic inch motor, which I think is somewhere around a 50, 1500 cc. Like always, let me turn the lights off. Like always, we're going to walk around this thing. I'm going to show you all the little imperfections about it. I want you to know exactly what you're looking at in case you want to buy it. That you know, you know this bike better than if you would have came and looked at it yourself. That is my goal. That's my, it's always my goal. Also, uh, if you want to see how this thing rides, check out the uh, test drive video. I do two videos for all my bikes. I do a test drive, test drive video and a walk around video. This, of course, is the walk around video. Let's start back here. It does have the uh, the cool little boulevard boulevard bags. This look to be in good shape. Come down over here. The fender over here looks real nice. Come down here. The exhaust and stock, and that looks good also. There's chrome in there. It's a little bit dirty, but that that rubs clean. Um, this piece looks good. You can see it looks like someone dropped something on the chrome or on the exhaust, like coffee or something like that. I'll, uh, I'll scrape that off. I'll scrape that off before anyone buys it. A little bit of dust inside the motor, but no oil or anything like that. That all cleaned up pretty well. A little bit of like black tar on the floorboards, but these floorboards have never, have never been down. Come over here. Uh, tank looks really good, but if you notice, it's really broad. I don't know if you can tell, but it's right here. See how it's kind of a little dent right there? Right there, right there. It's very, it's kind of hard to see. It didn't do anything to the, to the, to the paint. Um, it most likely could be popped out pretty easily, but I just wanted to point that out. There's a little chip in the paint right there. That might be a little. So that might be a little dent. Let me see right there. See that right there? Tiny, tiny little dent right there. Also, no damage to the paint. What's that? That's probably a bug. That might be a little chip right there too. I got this new camera, and hopefully, it shows this stuff better than the old one did. Got the windshield. Let's look at the uh, the lower fender. That looks good. It's got a little imperfection right there. Um, got some bugs on the lower fork tubes. Everything else could just be cleaned up. Actually, here we go. It's got a little bit of paint's messed up right there. I didn't see that before, but once you get down on your knees and look at it. Stand up, you don't see it, but once you get down low, you can see it. I want you guys to know everything about this bike. No one else scrutinizes their bikes like I do. It's got these cool little lower fairings, it's got the windshield. This is a boulevard windshield. It's dirty, it needs to be cleaned up a little bit. But you can get that thing looking 100% brand new. Front tire looks nice. There are bridge stones. Front fender looks good. Come around here, you see it's got a battery tender already hooked up to it. This side of the tank looks perfect. Come down here, just a little bit of dirt down there, but that'll wipe right off. You can see it's a little more, just a little bit of dust inside there, but no oil or anything like that. If you look inside this, this piece right here, you have this keychain on here, and you can see how it, how it just rubbed like that. Probably a little bit of rubbing compound will clean that up, but you really don't see it from any angle unless you're putting your face down there. It is shaft driven. Here's the other side of the bag. Come back down here. This is a little license plate mount. Once you have the license plate on there, that, that snugs it right on top of there. Um, you come down here. That stuff cleans up. 
bit of a sap or something like that right there. A little bit of scuffing. This thing broke off, so so the guy glued it back on. But it's actually pretty uh, it worked out pretty good. And let's look at this tire down here. Eh, tires, you might have another season. You might have another season left on that tire. But that's probably about it. Let's uh, let's fire it up. The key is down here. This bike does have 27,000 miles on it. I do have to pull the clutch in to fire it up. It is, of course, fuel injection, fuel injected. It fires up good. If you guys want to see how this thing runs, it runs very well. It's nice and quiet. Stock pipes, that's what you would expect. Alright guys, if you're interested in this bike, it's going to be for a killer price. See, I got a lot of cool bikes. I ship these bikes all over the country. And this month, I think I'm going to sell around 30. So most likely, this one's going to be uh, getting sold too. So if you're interested, I'll list my number below. Or check out the website, srkcycles.com. And subscribe if you like watching videos of me just talking about bikes. Thanks, guys.